here are my January favorites. And for once, I'm quite on time. Um, so I'm very proud of myself because it's the new year. So one of the favorites is a movie. Um, it's Mary Poppins. This is definitely one of those movies that I would watch because I watched Mary Poppins as a child and I loved it. But then I'm not sure about having a new Mary Poppins in the form of Emily Blunt. Uh, but a lot of people told me to go watch it. Liu Ying said you gotta watch it and I have to say it was super. Like I thought she made a really cool Mary Poppins. I mean my mom didn't like it. She said that they didn't sing any of the old songs and it was so different from the first one. But actually I like that it was different. I mean Julie Andrews is in a class of her own. As I expected, Mary Poppins practically perfect in every way. So I thought it was cool that Emily Blunt just did her own thing. You know she had her own version of Mary Poppins that didn't compete with Julie Andrews' version and the songs were still so good, it was very very moving oh, and it was so colourful and pretty and you know when you watch Mary Poppins it's like going into like a fantasy world, at least for me so I, I really liked it, I would say if you didn't watch it, make sure you go watch it if you didn't watch it in theatres and it's not showing I don't know, go watch it on some... don't say I said it So my favourite song for the month uh, is a song called Broken by Lonely The Band and to be honest, Lonely The Band I have no idea who Lonely the Band is. All I know is I was out shopping one day. I can't remember where, but I think it was in Topshop that I heard this song play and I actually shazammed it because it has such a like a cute melody, you know, and I was like, what song is this? And then so I, I went to save it on my Spotify playlist and I realized that like, it's such a cool song. It's about someone who likes someone else because they're not afraid to be themselves. They're very flawed and imperfect self because it's I like that you're broken, broken like me so everybody's broken and uh, I don't know it's just it's got a cute melody and it's got good lyrics I would say definitely one of my favorite songs for the month another one of my favorites for the month is a new watch um, I love watches in general and uh, I love G-Shocks definitely one of the sort of watches that I have way too many of but this one was a present and I love the pink and the purple and the black I already do have a black G-Shock but it's like matte black so this one is shiny and yeah the pink and purple is a pretty cool combination. Oh instantly I'm wearing another G-Shock. This one's a camo one which I also like but yeah. Can never have too many G-Shocks. So another favorite of the month is a diffuser. I don't have it here because it was it's in my office but it was given as a present and it's uh, it's very yummy smelling like the whole office. I don't know why like I, I sometimes burn candles in the office and like I have a room spray but I've never actually thought to put a diffuser there, I don't know why. Um, at home sometimes I use a diffuser but because my house is so like high ceiling and stuff you don't really get the full extent of the diffuser but my office is much smaller so the diffuser on my desk, the whole desk and the whole office now smells of like these juicy red fruits so it smells very sweet and juicy but in a non-citrusy way. I know that sounds like very difficult but I am very particular about scents so like for my house I like it to smell like I have vanilla candles and I have candles that smell like cupcakes. I just like it to smell yummy, but it has to smell like warm yummy, not sharp yummy. Does that make sense? Like citrusy is like sharp yummy. Anyway, this is like red fruits. It literally says red fruits and it smells like that, so. So I actually have a book that I read this month. Uh, well, the past two months. It took me a while. And, <laughs> okay, I, mean, I contemplated whether I want to talk about this because it's a little bit uncool. Um, but I actually thought it was a very useful book, so I'm going to talk about it. Um, it's by John Gray, so if you don't, if you know John Gray is the guy who wrote Men Are From Mars, Women Are From Venus. And I read that a long time ago. That's like, I think, is it like 20 years old or something, that book? Anyway, John Gray is still around, still writing books, which I really like. He's an old man now, um, but he's still very passionate about the topic. And so he wrote many follow-ups to the Mars and Venus series. And the one that I read was Beyond Mars and Venus. So I admit I kind of sped read it because I really read the Mars Venus series. So if you're familiar with that, you'll know the certain traits of... I mean, it's very cheesy to use Mars and Venus, but I guess that's the way that he decided to market it, right? But beyond the cheese of calling men Mars and women Venus, like there's a lot of um, psychology behind it and there's a lot of real uh, practical psychology behind it, which I really like. So the part that's very pertinent to me talks about a women's menstrual cycle. Uh, basically, if you are a straight woman, just reading any of the Mars Venus books, you will be very thankful that you like men. 
<laughs> I don't think I could date another girl just because I think women are really, we're really the more complicated bunch. After reading the first Mars Venus, I realized like men really are very simple creatures. And let me sum it up for you. I'm just doing not this doing this justice at all. But summed up, this happy wife, happy life thing actually has there's actually truth in that. A man is happiest when his like woman is happy. A woman is happiest when like a lot of things have been fulfilled for her to be happy. So what he says is that a woman's menstrual cycle is broken up into three parts. And each part requires something different in terms of their relationships. <laughs> Uh, like for example, the ovulation period is when a woman really needs her partner and then after ovulation, which is like probably after, after the 15th day uh, probably like I guess day 19 till the start of your next cycle is when she needs like time with her friends, time for herself and things like that and basically the book says that if you and your partner are very like you actually observe a woman's menstrual cycle, you'll probably argue a lot less and um, the woman will be a lot happier and because a woman is a lot happier the man will be a lot happier. Yes, that, that's it in a nutshell. And that's my key takeaway. So if you are too damn lazy to read the book, and you've already read the Mars Venus series, I would say skip to the part where he talks about the menstrual cycle, because I thought that was actually really useful. I need to talk to my husband about this. But yeah, I, I, haven't, I haven't yet. But it actually made a lot of sense for me. And even if you don't tell your partner about it, I think as a woman, just being aware that at different points in your menstrual cycle, it's not just PMS. Right, it's not as simplistic as that because we are complex creatures um, but there are a lot of uh, nuances to the cycle that you can kind of figure out for yourself so you're a happier and nicer person overall okay so another favorite for the month is a present that i got from my mom so my mom gives me very thoughtful presents i i am not the most thoughtful present giver sometimes i do but but not always, my mom gets gives me really really sweet presents. This is something she got me for Christmas which is really really sweet. It says there is no better friend than a daughter. So sweet, right? And then there's like this thing that says daughter. Yeah, my mom is like really really sweet and I guess it's <laughs> I like to think she got it just because she wanted to get it from me but also because maybe I make so much noise about the fact that I don't understand why I'm not the firstborn. I think I've always gone on about not being the firstborn child. So if you're a firstborn child, um, good for you. If you're a firstborn child and an only child, even better for you. Um, but I guess I've always just had issues with like being the second. You know the second gets all the hand-me-downs and I came like less than two years after my brother so it's like I got hand-me-downs plus like everyone's still like fussing over the boy and he's like a toddler age and you know it's just my own issue so anyway that's just about birth order and i could go into a whole video on that but if you have thoughts about that let me know in the comment box below if you're the firstborn middle child like me or the youngest and what you think about that anyway i digress so i'm the middle child but i am the only daughter and my mom has always made me feel very special about being the only girl so it's one of my favorite presents for the month and I actually have a new favorite food place um, or rather a place that I discovered because I was doing um, an ad for Deliveroo so I ordered from a healthy place because it's part of my want to be healthier in 2019 and it's called Wafu Ken so I ordered the soba noodles with salmon and it came with mushroom and capsicums and it's so amazing because I actually eat everything in that box <laughs> If you're friends with me, you know what a fussy eater I am. So it's very, very rare for me to order a set where I actually like everything. And it was really yummy. Like the salmon was sous vide, so it's very, very tender. And it's slightly raw in the middle. Raw? Is that the right word? I don't know. Sear it? Half cooked? I'm no chef. But it wasn't like fully cooked through. It was very tender. And I felt very virtuous after eating that lunch because I was like, wow, so healthy. No lard, nothing fried. You know, everything felt so healthy. But it was like a yummy, healthy lunch. So, waffle can. I will go back and I'll order it again. So those are my favourites for the month of January. Um, yes, I hope to continue this Let's Get This Out not too late in the month. Let me know if you have any... Let me know if you came across any favourites in this month. Books, movies, food, uh, beauty products, anything really or experiences. Let me know in the comment box down below and hopefully it's something that I can check out as well. Otherwise, I will catch you on Facebook and Instagram. 